How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tech and today I'm going to show you how to transfer your WhatsApp data between your iPhone and your Android. And the coolest thing is that it works from iPhone to Android and from Android to iPhone. And when I say WhatsApp data, I mean chats, messages, photos, videos, audio messages, absolutely everything. It's truly amazing, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is download WhatsApp on the device that we're going to transfer to. Since I'm going to transfer from iPhone to Android, I'll download and install on the Android phone. So I'll just go ahead, open up the Play Store and search for WhatsApp. So opening up the Play Store, I'm going to do the normal process. Go ahead and search search for WhatsApp and then hit install and then I'm going to wait for the normal installation process. Okay. Once that's ready, we can begin. And as you guys can see, I'm done. I can open WhatsApp and just to show it to you, welcome to WhatsApp. It's blank. It's empty. It's a clean install, meaning that there's nothing here on the Android. So now we can go ahead and get started. Now, for this process, we will need a computer, as you guys can see, and it can be a Mac or a PC, so don't worry because it works on all computers. For this, we will need a software called Dr. Phone, as you guys can see, Wondershare Dr. Phone. And of course, I'm going to have the download link down below in the description. It's going to be the first link in the description. So go ahead and download. So now that we have the software, we have everything we need, we can go ahead and get started. And the first thing we're going to need is to plug in the cable. So we're going to plug in the cable from the iPhone and the Android to the computer. We're going to need to plug both of them in. And it's important to use the authentic cable. So do that, please, right now. So now that both are connected, as you guys can see, I can leave my iPhone here and I can leave my Android there and we can go ahead and get started. So um, if it, that's very important, if something pops up on the Android, as you guys can see right there, you can just go ahead and hit OK. Don't worry about any messages that pop up. We don't need to worry about that. And for this process, we're going to use the WhatsApp transfer tool from, of course, Dr. Phone. So just click on there and a little application is going to appear in the background. So we can just go ahead and click on that one. And then we're going to tap on transfer WhatsApp messages. That first box that you guys can see right there. And as soon as we click on it, we're going to see this screen with the source and the destination and both our phones there. And it's important to check which one is the source and which one is the destination. In my case, my iPhone here is the source and my Android is the destination. That's why I have to click on flip, as you guys can see, and then it's going to change. So now um, my iPhone is my source my Samsung Android is my destination. This is very important because we need to see which one is which. Just one thing before we start, before we click on the blue transfer button, we need to change one thing in the settings on our Android. So go ahead and open up your settings, scroll down and look for apps. Then we're going to scroll all the way down to WhatsApp. So click on that as well. And then we're going to look for permissions, tap on permissions, and then we're going to need to toggle on storage as i just did we need to toggle on storage because we're going to be using the iphone the, the whatsapp storage with dr phone to actually transfer all that information so we need to have it on okay so we need to toggle it on that's very very important now that we're all done we can hit transfer right there the blue button and then we're going to have an information saying that the existing whatsapp content on your target device will be deleted no problem we can go ahead and click ok that's already a blank whatsapp so we can hit continue and then now it's just a matter of waiting for the uh, doctor phone to do its thing so to check the data to back it up to analyze and then of course uh to gather all the information and check everything so it's going to be done all automatically there's nothing we don't need to worry about anything here so leave your iphone and your android phone leave the cables plugged in don't do anything just wait and as soon as we need to take action i'll be back okay so we're going to be presented with this screen right here showing us that the process is almost ready so right now we need to actually remove the sim from the iphone and then put it on the android since we're transferring we need to remove the sim and put it on the other phone right here so very very important to do that and then set up your whatsapp normally okay so now that i have switched sims uh, i'm just gonna check very quickly my whatsapp information so just you don't see that there are no gimmicks so right there those are my current chats my most recent chats have a look at the profile pictures just to make sure that is going to change it's going to transfer to the android without losing anything just to show you there are no gimmicks 
So now uh, we can go ahead, open up my Android phone. I'm gonna normally set it up, put my phone, put my pin, of course, which is also my uh, two-step verification code. And then I'm done with the activation. And as you guys can see, I just have my groups. None of my chats, none of my media is there yet because right now we still have to do one simple step on the computer before we continue. So as you guys can see, I'm putting my Android to the side. Okay, uh, right now the, the process is not done yet. Okay, and then I can go ahead and hit next. So then uh, it's gonna do the rest of the process automatically. So WhatsApp will automatically turn off, turn back on. You can take a look at the Android phone. It'll just uh, turn off and back on. And then you can see the percentage right there. It's gonna go back to 1% and then it's gonna go all the way to 100. And as you guys can see, the transfer is complete. The process has finished. I can hit okay. I don't need the computer anymore. I can unplug my phone and as you guys can see, all of my messages are there. Have a look at the profile pictures, have a look at everything. Everything is perfect right there, all the info. And of course, all the media, take a look at this. I'm gonna tap on media, uh, so media right there. And then as you guys can see, all my media is there. Of course, this was taken from my iPhone from months and months of media, as you guys can see. So that's pretty much it, guys. This is how you transfer all your data from your iPhone to your Android and vice versa. Android to iPhone as well, of course. And then you do it very easily. You don't lose any data. You don't lose anything. That's how you transfer. It works perfectly. And you're gonna, you guys are gonna love Dr. Phone. That's the software I use. And I'm gonna have, again, the link in the description. Go ahead, click on the first link in the description. You'll find it right there. And I'm sure you're gonna love it. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.